Hey, it's Griffin Sarah, and we're in the Huguenot settlement. In New Falls, New York. Is that where we are? Where we are. <laughs> Walking into the historic Huguenot Street uh, in New Paltz, New York. I'm gonna go take a look at the cemetery. And I'm gonna show you a few buildings. The one right to the side of me. And uh, supposedly the oldest street in America. At least that's their claim to fame. We're gonna take a look around. All right, here's the grave of Elsie Hasbrook, and she died in 1762. The age is 78. Anyways, these stones are a little bit different. They have uh, the sole effigy on it. It looks like it's some kind of uh, iron stone. And uh, hers is a little bit different than hers. Yeah. I love the squiggle in the, uh, the top of the cabinet piece there. Oh, yeah? The shoulder. Yes. The lunette. We got uh, Joseph here, Hasbrook. It looks like they uh, abbreviated his last name. He's Esquire, so he's a lawyer. He uh, died at the age of 40, 1723. Wow. Or so, they have that little squiggle there because uh, there's- That's old. Something about changing the date. Yeah, so it's pretty old. It's the yeah. oldest one we found in New York. This has a pretty, this is more of a skull-like. Yeah, covered with moss. Yeah. It's too bad. Cool. So this old cemetery has been uh, protected since 1962, I believe. So there'll be no taking of rubbings and such. But uh, we just found the Hasbrooks, and uh, those are the most interesting looking stones. Still readable. And then we're gonna find the uh, guy who was a slave and interned here in 2013, November 9th, I believe. Anyways, he should be at the other side of the cemetery. It's one of the old houses right behind us. Here on the oldest street in America. So in the early days of the cemetery, uh, you were given a simple stone. You didn't really put a lot of pomp and circumstance into the, the burial process. And they scratched the date on it for you. It is, I think it's 1752. Yeah, we got another one of these little stones. Uh, it's got the date 1747 scratched up at the top. Not sure what the rest of it is. So in 2013, they re-interned uh, a guy who was a slave here on uh, Huguenot Street uh, from 100 years ago. And uh, they don't really know what his name is. I think they gave him one. But this was all done in 2013, in November. I like the, uh, the uh, figure there, the bird, the lunette. All right, the actual name of the cemetery is the Walloon Church Cemetery. Anyways, uh, it's got a church school, 1683, wow. First church in 1717, our French church. Now, these guys were thrown out of France by the Catholics, so here, here they are. And there, of course, is the church. We got the uh, John Hasbrook House. Let me zoom out on this thing a little bit. It's sturdy. This looks uh, like it's made out of wood. All right, here's the Deo house. It says it's built in uh, 1692, but it looks like it may have had a few additions put on there. That's looking a bit 1800s to me. Like the inside of the wig on here. A little fire. It didn't. This looks like it burned to the ground. Now Sarah's managed to get into the wig, Mom. We'll see if she can get out. Yeah, I know it. <laughs> That's what it looks like on the outside. Hi! <laughs> oh, there we go. gravy. All right, All hopefully right. that didn't do any damage. <laughs> it's fine. Yeah. Anyways, this place was uh, purchased uh, 40,000 acres from the Asopus people uh, by the Huguenots. And, uh, well, I don't know how much 40,000 acres really looks like. There's a lot of space around here, though. 1905. Yeah, it's a fort. That's a house. First it out. I think it's a visitor center now and a museum shop. Museum shop. I always yeah. like a good museum shop. 
I love a good weekend. This is the Du Bois house, not Du Bois. All right, here's the Bevier house, built by Louis Bevier, 1698. Nice solid structure there, it's got a well out front. And it says it has an interesting sub cellar, whatever that means. I'm not sure. <laughs> All right, we've got the Abraham Hasbrook house. Also very solidly built. And they have these cedar roofs. I don't know how much I like the idea of a cedar roof. Let's get a shot down that way. Ooh, too much. Dio and their third son, Daniel Hasselbrook. It's Dio and Hasbrook. Hasbrook and Dio. <laughs> anyway, who inherited the family homestead? All the, uh, all the names around here were the names of the dorms at New Paltz when I was there, so I'm used to saying them. <laughs> Hasbrook House, built 1712 by Abraham, the patentee, one soldier in the English Army, friend of Governor Andros, kitchen scene of cockfight. I wonder what that means. I think they were holding cockfights in the kitchen, God, taking bets. Why would you do it in the kitchen? Well, it's easier to clean it up. I suppose. No carpeting. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here's the Freer residence. One of the newer houses around here, 1720. You know, practically a new build. That's right at the end of the street. I don't think there were any cockfights here. <laughs> here we are, I think, in the kitchen. The belly of the beast. Yeah, yeah could you imagine cooking on this bugger? No, but I can imagine having cockfights in here. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we are presently in the, who is this? Is this, this is Dale? The, this is Dubois, Dubois Fort. The Fort. Yes, it's fairly substantial here. There were some holes out front. Uh, shit now, I'm going to show those to you. <laughs> All right, this is one, to, one of the Elting girls. Uh, this painting was stolen about 50 years ago and it was returned to the museum uh, kind of recently. 2021, I believe. Very severe looking woman. A lovely box in her hand. And a nice hat. And, and she's giving that sign that all the kids were giving her for oh, a while. Yeah. What oh, the heck? Oh, geez, she is doing that, isn't she? <laughs> I forgot what that's called. Here's a very severe looking painting. A well, three year old, apparently. And she's also giving me the sign. Must be some kind of Masonic thing. Portrait of Wincott. This is, uh, God, these guys were very oh, yeah. severe. <laughs> well, you know, I guess life was tough, but, you know. Not for these guys as much. Look at Still it. alive with gray hair. Yeah. Life couldn't have been that tough. Exactly. Most of his friends are dead. Yes. <laughs> Please replace the speaker on its rack when you're ready to leave. Failure to do so will damage both the speaker and your car.